I'm Nate, this is Shoot Fist Productions, and uh, if, you, if you're a subscriber to our channel, welcome back. If you're new, thanks for coming along for the ride. And uh, today's video is all about the Humorex Brian and Buckmark. It's a 0.177 spring powered pistol. Um, anyone looking to get into shooting, that is probably an ideal first gun, even for experienced shooters. That's great fun. Uh, that's pretty quiet if you you know worried about the neighbors for shooting or if you want to shoot in your garage so we're going to have a quick look at it uh, then we're going to take it out on the range have a little shoot so uh, if you're interested keep watching <laughs> Okay, so we have done a video on this before. I've done one where I stripped it down and sort of tuned it up a little bit. And um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, tinkering and wee guns, have a look at that video. Uh, that, I think we've done that when we first started the channel. So, um, Umarex, pretty much all their products are top quality. Um, probably one of the most popular guns out there now. They do all sorts of guns, CO2 guns. Um, now, as far as... Um, Springer pistol school. Um, I'd have said for, an, for a first time shooter, this is probably you know uh, a good starting point. So we've got a uh, point one seven seven. You've got a nice picky rail on the top there for fitting sights and um, accessories. Just sights, really, to be honest. Uh, the sights that are with it are actually pretty good. Um, you got windage adjustment side to side. You got up and down adjustment. Which you know a lot of pistols don't have that. They just got the basic up and down, or none at all. Some of them. Uh, nice big front post. To see, it's got like a, this plastic shrouded barrel. Now there is a lot of polymer. I say called ballistic polymer. They like to call it, but most people call it plastic. Um, you know, uh, ballistic polymer does sound better. But pretty much all the body of the gun is metal. Under the these are nice rubber grips. Very comfortable. That's um, under there is all metal. Um, it's got an automatic safety on the side here. Now that is a little bit stiff, so well, I'll just cock the gun. Now you're not supposed to discharge a Springer gun without uh, any pellets in them, um, but I've just cocked this just to show you really how, how you're gonna load it and everything. So very easy to cock, um, doesn't take a lot of pressure. You slip your pellet in there, just press it flat with your thumb. That little beady thing is what locks your barrel in place. And um, you, Auto safety automatically comes on every single time. Now to get it off, that is quite stiff. Now that's probably the biggest flaw with this gun is that safety is a bit stiff. Now I tried uh, freeing it up when I dismantled the gun, uh, but to no avail. So um, really that's just something you're gonna have to live with. Um, so I'm now gonna discharge this gun. Um, there's nothing in it, I will confirm. I'm not going to shoot at anyone or in the direction of anyone. I'm just going to shoot it so you can get some idea of how quiet that is. Because uh, a lot of people, you live in the UK, it's a tiny island, we ain't got much space. A lot of people live in sort of, you know, pretty close together houses. And uh, you, you have got to consider people who've got children and stuff, old people in the gardens can get frightened and concerned when they hear gun shooting. So all I would say is speak to your neighbours. Um, just let them know if you can have a little shoot. I know you're saying, you know, some of us, oh, that's my... I also do what I like and all this, but it's just about being nice and getting shooters, um, not getting shooters a bad name, really. Um, I'm just showing that, you know. I did shoot off a blank this morning in the garden. No way. Yeah, I had a couple of magpies right outside my bedroom window this morning, so I just walked out with my 22 short and just cracked one off. So what, that, that little thing. derringer thing? Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> See, people like you get us a bad name, does. <laughs> Anyway, we, we digress. So I'm just not going to shoot this gun. Um, again, with the microphones and stuff, I don't know if you're going to really get a good idea. But we are, once we're finished looking at the gun, we're going to take it outside on the range and have a little shoot with it. So I'm not going to shoot it. <coughs> Auto safety. That'll get you every time. Okay, so, you know, with a pellet in, the, probably your pellet hitting the target if you're shooting tin cans or something, it's probably going to be louder than the actual gun shooting. So that's a big advantage of this gun. Um... Another big advantage is you don't need CO2, the running costs, all you need is a tin of pellets. That's always going to be ready to shoot. I'd say the sights are great. If you want to put an extra little sight on there, um, you had one of those red dots on there once, didn't you, Dazzle? That's what's when it, on your P700. That's what's on my P, uh, yeah, PP700. PP700. So, um, great little gun. We're now going to take it out on the range, have a little shoot with it. See if we can hit anything. 
so we'll see you outside. Okay, Des, um, Des is going to do the shooting on the buck mark. Yeah. It used to be his gun, I bought it off him. And um, we've got a camera on the... Down on the range. Down on the range, he's going to probably go for the rat or the crow target to start with, because yeah. they're a bit bigger, hitting those... Um, oh, I forgot how light this trigger is. That is light, isn't it? Once you remember to take safety off. Yeah. So, um, as you can hear, the sound hit the target is probably louder than the actual gun. Don't know. <laughs> That's even strong enough to even knock down that yellow bird. You might have to try the seal two things yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay, if you can hit them from there with that, you're doing well, mate. That's, uh... Yay, well done, mate. What a shot. Right. So the power to hit them is, is fine. And that's what, this is about three foot pound-ish? No mate, that's like one and a half. One, less than that mate, less than that. We will actually do that in a sec. Oh, I think I might hurt your target. But as you can tell, I mean, the, 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 you know, it's fairly quiet. It's a lot quieter than a CO2 gun. Did you hit another one? Yeah, yeah. nice. So accuracy with open sights there. I mean, when you were struggling to hit that with the PP700W in the yeah. previous video, weren't you? So, so I didn't know roughly how your sights are sitting because obviously everyone set the sights slightly different. Yeah, I've set them up but for myself, obviously. Yeah. So should we yeah. just um, do a power test? Yeah, definitely. Alright, Daz, uh, I think I can see that from here. Have yeah. a shot. One and a half. 1.5 one, half. 1, .5 one yeah. is it? Yeah. So. Not bad. No. And I took out both style of your targets that you just made. Yeah. So even a maybe even a little six mil plastic BB gun can take these things out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They you know work I mean? well. I'm impressed with that. Like and your yeah. airsoft guns. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. BB Perfect. guns. Perfect. Yeah. So so that's the buck mark there. Just hold it yep. up again and um, great little gun, accurate as you can see. Um, I measured out this range. Just probably. 12 metres, something like that, 12 or 12 and a half. I'll get a little bit more when I get in the back of my shed if I was raining with a rifle or whatever. So, uh, this is a brilliant little pistol. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.